How's it going you guys, Damocles here, and I'm reshooting this, so if you guys watch this on stream, I'm sorry I had to go and redo it because I was covering up everything with the chat box, but what I'm saying here will basically be the same. Um, sorry guys, Damocles here, and today I'm bringing you another Strongest Hero video. This time it's going to be a Should You Summon on the Endeavor banner. Now this is a banner that I've been super excited for since the game released. Endeavor's my favorite character in MHA and I have been waiting for him anxiously. I wasn't sure if he was gonna come right after All Might or if he was gonna come later down the line. I, I kind of saved my money on All Might because we pulled him, we pulled All Might in the first pull, uh, but with Endeavor, it took a little bit longer. Um, I woke up this morning, instead of to cheers of happiness that the PVE king of the game uh, was released, I woke up to uh, cries of anguish because they nerfed the crap out of him. And I'm not gonna mince words, guys, it's ridiculous it's bs and absolutely nobody should be pulling on this right now nobody um and i'm i'm like no cap like that's it nobody and anybody who suggests you otherwise anybody who says this is a good idea you should definitely pull like blah 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 blah, blah they're straight lying to you like lose my number they're straight lying to you they got ulterior motives either they're getting paid under the table somehow uh they just don't know what they're talking about their livelihood is depending on this like, I don't know what it is. If someone's recommending this to you, they're out of their minds straight up because this is ridiculous. And uh, and I'm saying that as somebody who loves Endeavor. I pulled for him because I love the character and I had a lot of Google Play points and I don't play any other mobile games right now. So I use my Google Play points on my boy. And so that you guys don't have to, right? That's what we do here, public service. Um, and so... Before I dive into it, I just want to give you a quick backstory because you guys already know how I feel about it. Um, the CN version of the game, Endeavor's the best PvE character, period, bar none. Uh, but what we knew coming into the global version was that his S rank character at a base level was just kind of middle of the pack. It didn't do great damage, but it had amazing self-healing and self-sustain. That's what Endeavor does. He's very tanky. He heals back a lot. So what does the S rank have going for it it's tanky it heals a lot at ss rank that's when he gets a large amount of damage increase and that's when he becomes like like starts to become god tier he can do a lot of damage and he can take a lot of damage what they did in the global version which they've nerfed characters before they've re they released aizawa nerfed uh but nobody really made a peep out of it because it's not a big deal it was a aizawa's a pvp character and they just made it so in the CN version, his caltrops could actually like stagger people. It could like stun them, prevent them from running at you, which is really powerful in PvP. And they toned it down a little bit and made it a slow in the global version. Not a big deal, not an intricate part of his kit, you know, not like an in integral part of his kit, sorry. The problem is with Endeavor, those scummy, scummy, scummy decisions they went and they nerfed an integral part of his kit, like the most important part of his kit, and that is his self-healing. And they didn't do it by a tiny amount, they did it by an astronomically large amount, okay? Like literally 80 to 90%, they nerfed it. So I'm gonna do a little overview of his skills in a little bit, uh, just a quick rundown, but basically his entire kit revolves around this uh, heating mechanism, this temperature mechanism. When it builds up, he gains attack um, and it's built up via his attacks. Um, and then once it exceeds 80%, he'll start to lose 1% of his max HP per second. This is pretty significant. You can see it on the screen a little bit here, but I'll show it later. And then once his HP re reaches 25% of his max health, this HP increase stops. Now, this is what I'm talking about. He gets a lot of damage when your temperature is up and it, you have to do it. Like it's part of his kit. It's what makes him him. He goes and he gets a spear and that that raises his temperature. He does a large amount of damage. Then you throw the spear and that resets the amount of uh, body temperature that you have. And then when that reset occurs, you are supposed to be able to get a heal, a substantial heal off of this talent here, which is every 10% reduction of temperature restores 1% plus 1% HP. The this in the Chinese version is 2%. And then on some of the screenshots that have been shared around, it's like 2% plus 20% in some cases. And so 
they essentially gutted his healing. They just gutted it. I mean, like, in the worst way. And the problem is that the whole part of his kit is that he loses a large amount of HP. And so if you're on an S rank level, already he wasn't that great. We knew that coming in. But that was before nerfs. After nerfs, he might be worse than a lot of A rank characters. And what I did, because I'm just a lovely gentleman and because I had Google Play points, I brought him to SS. We got lucky. We got some really tight dupes. Didn't have to you know, break bank on that or anything like that. And this is when he gets a lot of attack. The thing is, because his healing is so bad, it doesn't matter. And this is why it's a big deal. It's th no free to play player should touch this with a 10 foot pole, not even close. It's worse than the class 1A banner, straight up, no cap. But even whales might not want to touch this because none of this stuff is going to help him. This is a straight up just gut punch to Endeavor. And I can't overstate it enough how bad of a nerf this is. Like, it's bad. Um, the amount of healing you get back is garbage. Um, he can heal through his little shield here and through dodges, but this was the crux of his healing in the CN version, and they nerfed it into the earth for the global version and didn't say a peep about it. Didn't say a peep about it. For the first time in my life, I left a Google Play review, and I dropped a one star on this game, which I love. I love this game, but I dropped a one star because this is nonsense. This this is not okay, and anybody tells you it's okay is is out of their minds. They're out of their minds. Um, and, you know, a lot of people have pointed to the fact that they think it's it's to encourage people to go and spend on his uh, support cards. But the thing is, is even if you spend on his support cards, it's not enough to make up for that. Like, 12% damage increase is obviously good. This is better, where he gains true damage equal to lost HP ratio times 80%. But neither of these are going to help him with his healing. And the healing is bad, guys. Like, it's bad. It's rough. Like, you you get starched and super... Like, he's super slow as well. He's very slow in super co-op and um, and other co-op modes. And But he makes up for it because he's tanky. He can heal back a lot. You can't heal back a lot. So now he's just slow, doesn't do damage at a base for S rank, and doesn't heal at a base S rank. Like, it's it's really bad. I can't overstate it enough. Like, he, this is an SS Endeavor, and he's getting clapped up in co-op versus AI like no other. Now, I love Endeavor. I'll probably keep playing the character just because, like, I, I wanted this character, but I couldn't... Uh, nobody should be telling you in good conscience to pull on this banner at all. Uh, much less go for SS or anything like that. Uh, and you can go check the VOD of, like, my summoning video for him or whatever, um, but it's real. it's just... It's just super disappointing. I don't know what these publishers are doing. They're going to drive people away from this game. And like this it might be the straw that breaks the camel's back because this is so profoundly ridiculous that they did this. Uh, so uh, Endeavor's character, you have his Q, W, and E. His Q activates when he's at 50% heat. His uh, W and his E um, both generate heat. Basically, I'm just going to show you... I'm not going to do a whole overview of his kit right now because... I'll, I'll save it for another video, but I'll just show you the problem with these nerfs, okay? Um, so, we charge up our heat, we do this, we throw our Q out. That removes some of our uh, some of our heat. You should be getting heal from that. Um, but then, you switch, and you press Q again, he picks it up, and he starts to lose. Uh, he, he gradually gains uh, heat, and then once it hits 80%, he starts to lose a bunch of it. Now, I have Recovery Girl on as a, as a skill card just to try and make up for this, but he starts losing a lot of health and a lot of health quickly, and this is without taking any kind of damage. Imagine everybody's played through, uh, you know, agency assessments where you go and you fight Hanzo or you fight the Paper Dude who gets you in a little whirlwind, does a lot of damage to you. Imagine they get you in a whirlwind where you're taking a ton of damage and you're taking 1% of your match max HP per second because of your own kit. Like, it's crazy. So then, now we're at 25% of max HP. So you're supposed to throw this Q. On the Chinese server, he basically heals himself to full or close to it. On this, he gets, you know, like a 20%, a 15% heal. And which is like, oh, okay. But then, 
Now, I, Recovery Girl just helped me out, gave me a big boost. Please don't think Recovery Girl is the... I mean, please don't think his kit is causing those heals. It's Recovery Girl. Um, but that's the problem is that's his whole kit is you need... In order to do his big damage, you need to have that heat. And so you go and you throw his spear. What are you going to do? Not pick up the spear that gives him all of his damage? No, you have to. Which means you're going to take more damage. But then you're going to be healing even less once you throw it again. And it's just... It, it, it's just hurtful, guys. Like, once again, this video is a lot shorter than my last one, if you'll believe that. But I, I have to say, do not pull on this banner... I am hoping that the amount of flack that they're getting on Twitter and Google Play that they will revert this or that some intern made a mistake. But, um, you know, there's no guarantee that's going to happen. But I will make a video if something does happen. This is ridiculous and nobody should be telling you otherwise. This is absurd. Do not touch this banner. I wouldn't touch this game with money right now, period, until they fix this because this is just straight up, you know, th this is ridiculous. It's unbelievable what they're doing to the global servers. And, you know, I, I stick up for this game in a lot of situations, not in the scumbaggy situations, but, like, I enjoy a lot of parts of this game. I love My Hero Academia. This ain't right. This ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. Um, and so that's my review, guys. I'll do an overview later on. Let me know if you pulled for them. If you haven't, don't pull for them yet. I'm telling you, I promise you, I'm not making it up. Do not pull for him. It's that bad. So uh, I'm just disappointed at the state of the game, honestly. I, I hope that the developers wake up. Um, I left a Google review. If you guys aren't happy, then, you know, don't be malicious. Don't be vicious. You don't know who's in charge of these decisions. And you have to be constructive when you talk to people. So um, I don't know. It's just, that's a bummer. But that's it for me, guys. Damn, is out.